Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how you can connect MongoDB database with your Django project. As we know MongoDB is one of the most famous NoSQL database. But before implementing the connection between MongoDB and Django project, you should know these things. First let me create a txt file where I will explain you some concepts. Let's name it as test.txt. I will delete it afterwards. So should, you should know that Django officially support only SQL databases. These are the Postgres, Postgres SQL, MariaDB, MySQL, Oracle, and SQLite. It has the default built-in support for SQLite that you can see here that db.sqlite, it is default available. Django also has large number of third parties packages that support in that you can use for connecting your SQL database with your Django project. But if you want to use MongoDB with Django, Django does not have any built-in support for using NoSQL database. The first possible package that most of the tutorial on internet follow is Django. But I will not recommend using Django due to its various drawbacks. First is Django is incomplete. It is an experiment. If you want to use MongoDB for some basic operations like red operation, then you can use Django. But if you want to use MongoDB for some professional use, then uh, Django is not compatible. Second is the issues in his GitHub repository. If I open the GitHub repository of Django, you can see, see that it has a 319 issues at the time of recording this video. And one more drawback is we can only use Django version 3.0.5 3 uh, with Django. If we want to use Django, we only uh, we need to use only the uh, 3.0.5 version of Django. Then how can we use MongoDB with Django project? First of all, we need to bypass the built-in way of using the Django ORM, just like in settings.py. We need to comment this out and use some other way for connecting the uh, MongoDB database with our Django project. We will be using a third party package known as PyMongo. We will be using this package for connecting the, uh, uh, connecting the MongoDB database with our Django project. First of all, let me show you my code. We don't longer need this txt file. So I am deleting this. So first of all, I have created a project using the Django admin command. You can see the commands in my terminal. First of all, I run Django admin start project and the name of my project is MongoDB connection. Then I jump to that folder, create, install the ppnv in it. After that, I run the pip env shell command to initialize my virtual connection or my virtual environment. After initializing my virtual environment, I, uh, I installed the Django and this uh, pymongo in my virtual environment. You can see these packages in my pip file. You can see that Django and pip, uh, pymongo is already installed in my virtual environment. Now let's run this. Now let's uh, start my server. You will see that it is running fine. So it's mean that we can use the pymongo with our Django project. So it has no compatibility issue. So first of all, we need to do some things. First of all, I am creating a new application by running the command python manage.py start app and I am naming it as person. As you can see, the person application is successfully created. Let's register this app in our installed apps by just writing the name of app. After that, we need to connect the MongoDB database with our Django project. For this purpose, I am creating a new file and name it as db, db underscore connection.py. In this file, I need to import my package that is pymongo. And first of all, let me create a new database. Let's open the MongoDB compass. So my MongoDB compass is opening. I need to copy the URL first where my database is running. So this is my URL where my database will run. 
let me copy this url first and make a variable known as url and paste that url let's connect to this connection and create a new database click on create a new database and name your database as test underscore mongo you need to give a collection name here i am giving the name as user so let's create a database so as you can see the database is successfully created after uh, initializing this url variable we need to we need to call a function known as mongo client and pass that url you need to store this in some variable i am naming it as client and i am ready to uh, connect my database with my django project so let's call this client and pass the name of the database that you, i just created i have named it as test underscore mongo and store it in my in a variable called db let's run the server to see whether it contains some error or not so as you can see it has no errors so my and connection between the uh, mongodb and the uh, django project is successfully created in my models.py file of the persons app let's import this from db connection import the db by using this db connection we can register our first model you need to pass the name of the model here i am passing it as person so this is my first collection you need to store this in some variable i am naming it as person collection now we can perform any of the operation with this uh, person collection by using this variable in our views.py file let's import this from dot models import person collection and let's uh, implement some of the uh, views define index this will return first of all let's import uh, the http response for django http http response so we will return this response from every uh, from our every view let's return uh, h1 app is running let's perform some action with our db collection so i am uh, implementing a new view that, view that will add a person for the case of simplicity i am creating my person object here it contains two fields first name and last name first name is john and last name is smith by using this db collection we can add any records in our database you can also take these variables from this request object by using this person collection you can do various options uh, operations like you can delete, uh, implement delete many you can implement delete one you can implement find and some other as one i will use as insert one that will insert this single record in my uh, database and return a response that the new record is added new person is added let's implement a last view that will uh, give us all the persons let's name it as get all person it will take request persons collection dot find this will return us all the persons present in database let's return this persons list lastly we need to register the urls for these views let's create a url.py file and register our urls 
first let's import the required imports from django.urls we need to import the path and from our current views we need to import the views create a urls patterns list and register all our urls here like when the user hit the root url that it will be slash person we will be showing that the views dot index when the user call the add person view we will be showing the we will be adding a new user in database and when the user hit the uh, slash get, uh, show or get all and we need to place a comma here then we can will be showing the views dot get all person so these are the views for this uh, person app lastly we need to register this view in our main urls dot py file first of all let's import the include and uh, import and implement our uh, urls include persons dot url person dot url that will be the name of my url let's stop the server and rerun the server to see whether it contains some error or not so it should be urls so you can see our uh, server is successfully running let's open the server in our uh, root of the application they, it is showing nothing when i hit the slash person you can see that the application is running first let's me, let me show you the database whether you contain the person model or not so it does not contain the person model yet when i call the slash add uh, route you can see that it has added a new person in my database let's refresh it you can see the new person collection is added and it contains one record let's add a new record here it should contain a new record now so it contains the two records with unique ids and lastly let's show let's hit the slash show endpoint it seems like i i did a little mistake while returning the response so in the our get all person view we need to uh, return the http response not the uh, urls list directly let's read another server and call this endpoint again so you can see it will return us all the urls we can also return this response as json response so in this way you can connect your mongodb database with the django project and implement any number of views as we want thanks for watching